Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex. And I just uploaded a video. I shouldn't say I just uploaded. I'm going to be uploading uh, another video right before this one. And it was when I was doing three th themes all at once. Um, and I'm going to just attach pictures at the end because I started the video but didn't do the video of the whole thing. I don't know if I said that right or not, but... Um, my husband was just bringing me pizza. Um, I, I don't know what I just said. I, I just know that I didn't go back on and, and do any outland, did, did, did them on the pebbles bone in her hair, I believe. But as usual, life is busy. And so I did what I could. And so at the end, you'll just see the pictures of the rest of them that I did. Um, right now, what I'm showing you on this mat are I'm working on a bo boxing theme and these I will show you what I'm going to be using these for uh, these are actually the boxing ring the the ropes that uh go around the boxing ring and let me pull them all off of here what I did and what I found to do when you're printing a lot of things that have a lot of um intricate cuts a lot of times if there's a lot on one mat it the, it will have a tendency to cut just a hair off and i think i have mentioned this when i first started doing my youtube when i got my silhouette once i got my silhouette however if that's thousands of videos ago <laughs> and so i'm just saying it again is kind of like a reminder or for those new viewers I, on the outside of this let me come around there and and show you what I mean. See if I could show you. If you look at these really, really close, you can see a little bit of black cut out. The reason for that is that when this, when I do cut out things like this with this many cuts, it has a tendency to start to cut off a little bit by the time I get to to the the end it'll start out and it'll be right 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 on and by the time i'm done it is off just a hair um if i have a white offset on it like it's a centerpiece it's no big deal uh you can't tell because we're talking just minimal that it's off sometimes it's off a little bit more than just minimal but again when i have a white offset that's the reason that i do my offset on most of my pieces is uh because of that it i i just like it better it's more finished when i cut it and if it doesn't cut absolutely perfect and you're working with solid colors in particularly it'll show um it's white core paper too so from the back well anyway enough said about that i got it off the mat now now i am what i do is i put an offset around this piece before I cut it out. However, I don't, I, I don't cut the offset out. So when I put it on to cut it, I only cut the inside piece. I do not cut the uh, offset that goes around it. I do it in the same color. This is the, the, uh, ropes are all done in black and again if I do it and it cuts a little bit off with it being black it's very 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 noticeable and I mean I get very anal about that I, it's, it's not that big of a deal because they are uh, paper decorations but I like them to be as perfect as I can um, you know um, some might not not agree with that, but, you know, there's only so much when you're not a, a machine, there's only so much that we can do. And right now what I'm trying to do is weed out all of the pieces between. I'm doing, right now I got two at a time. There's going to be four center pieces, but I did my boxes um, and I did the ring enclosed to really make it have a lot of dimension. So there are four sides to the ring. And so I had to cut four per box 
So I cut out a total of 16 of the ropes and <laughs> I cut off one. Um, just, you know, we have the automatic sunny on the crook on the, the silhouette machine. I don't know why I started to say Cricut, but it, it doesn't always pick up the speed that I agree with. I use very heavy paper. It's hundred pound paper that I get, um, well, I get it different places, but um, I always seem to forget what I was going to say. Uh, um, whoops, I did forget what I was going to say. I'm trying to get this on caught here. The, the these pieces don't come right out when I take them off the mat, so. I got three in here now and you have to be kind of careful if you're doing more than one because you don't want to tear it. Um, what I was going to say is the setting that it tells me to use on the paper um, doesn't always match in the speed. It always, when you do the heavier paper and the speed for that heavy pound paper is, I think it's like one or something. I can't remember what it comes up to because I never ever use that. And this particular piece is a lot of cutting. Um, as you can tell, as I'm weeding, <laughs> weeding these out. Um, but anyway, that, that uh, I accidentally put one on there with the default of the heavy paper, which was one at speed. And it literally took at least, it was excess of a half an hour to cut out these ropes because I had left it on the slow speed. Then I remembered in the next ones I did and I put it up to 33. And I don't know why they have it at that slow. I really don't because even on intricate cuts, it's not like it tears the paper or anything. This, I never have an issue with it. Um, I don't know how I forgot. I think it was because it accidentally quit on me when I was trying to print something. That's another thing I find that the software, as much as I love the silhouette um, over the years, I haven't found much improvement on the fact that if on your mat, on your design that you're doing in the software, if it's got a whole lot of cuts, like even um, if you're to make something and have a lettering on it or this particular thing where it's got so many cuts because the the paper is cut out through here on the sides and side down here. It's a lot of cuts. The machine has a tendency to bark at me. It doesn't, it doesn't like that many cuts. And so uh, it'll shut down on me. And lately um, I, I was working on some t-shirts for my son and daughter-in-law and grandkids who are now in Disney World and we were making some Disney shirts and she had the cutest, cutest um, with just this writing. It was Minnie Mickey and it was all cut out and real intricate and we did it on infusion, um, infusion ink paper to infuse the sweatshirt with black ink versus vinyl or cotton. Absolutely love it. It's awesome. And they're finally coming out with more ink. You, uh, my, I was going to start doing it years ago, but to buy a printer, I, I just didn't want to go that route if I wasn't sure it was going to go. So anyway, we did t-shirts and we had a heck of a time because there were so many cuts on it. It kept, it kept shutting down. It just was really having a rough time. Here's the ring. This is a six by six square that I did and I made it black and white check. And then I did these separately and attached it. But it's going to be on a box, and so you're going to see the hole inside of the rink, and I don't want this white on the back. And that is that is the reason for these. And the way that I am going to put them on is I have a piece of scrap paper here, and I have um, Elmer's Craft Bond. Kids glue from school, whatever. And that is what I'm going to use on um, the top here. Is there something in there? Something printed out and that's how I have a big sheet of paper here. So that was about an inch down and these, I've done these with the little glue pens. You can do, put your uh, 
I can't remember who makes them, but there's the little pens that for thin lines like this that you can get. Um, however, to me, they are a pain in the butt. So I better put this where it lines up. I almost put it wrong. It doesn't need a whole lot to stick to the paper. It, it doesn't need some really good bond. It's going to be just fine with this. And then I take my brayer and roll it because I really want it stuck good together. And the reason that I do this and, and use glue all the way to the outside of the ring like that is because um, I don't want them to open from the center. If they, like These tools start to open up. In the and trying to figure out what I did with all of these. Oh, I don't think I only have one left to do on this. I do. So I'm going to put that one on here. I have my boxes all ready. Because I'm not going to film the, all the rest of the boxes because they get a little bit redundant. And um, I probably have stories to tell. And that's the flap that needs to go under. I sure hope I didn't do that wrong on the other side. I didn't realize didn't even think of it. I didn't do it wrong on the first one. I've already put one together, but got to make sure the flap on my box is not in the way when I put it on. Oh, thankfully. I just about did that wrong. Okay. Now, I didn't, I didn't do it wrong, guys, so, but something is, no, it's right. It looks like it's not matching up. I don't know what that is. My eyesight's going. Okay, there we go. And this is a six by six box that I get from um, Uline. And this is going to be the base. And this is a, just a, it doesn't have the separate lid. The lid is right attached right to it, which is what I prefer. To do the separate lid, um, I don't like because uh, I don't even know why. I, I like the box, but these are much easier to do because I don't have to worry about my image being down an inch from the lid because the lid comes down over the top of it and it kind of is a nuisance. So this one I may have to I may have to hot glue the glitter paper down. I put a piece of red glitter on the lid top just to give it some shine in there. I don't punch holes in them or anything because I'm going to put the pieces in there or the center pieces on a stand. That's another thing that I do different. And I did the little sign, uh, actually four for each one. And I did the glitter. It's um, Christian Mani Mani Mania, I mean, Christian Mania, Mania. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if I was starting to say it in Spanish or what. I don't know what I did. But anyway, um, these signs I made to go all the way around the box and uses a lot of pop dots. My little sticker dots on here. I put a lot because I don't want it to come off. Um, but I have a feeling, I hope I don't. I hope I have a lot in stock. I don't know where I have that. I don't know where I have them. I absolutely love the way that my husband redid all of my my um, office with the crates and everything, but I no longer have drawers. And so the way that I have things stored isn't always uh, easy for me to remember where I put them and how I stored them. And Pop Dots is one of them. There's one sign and Let's see what else. I was trying to think if there's a story. Well, when my daughter-in-law came over to do the shirts, my machine was not cutting. It would, was cutting about halfway through the, the, the paper or the image, whatever it was I was working on. And then all of a sudden it would start screeching like a car and it would start cutting off. It would only cut half of the sheet of paper. Then, then when it started to cut off, it was cutting at the bop. I don't even know how to explain it. I guess it doesn't really matter. It was cutting off. So I said, no problem. Let's put this one away. It needs a rest because it had it happened to me before. And I just kind of swap out and grab another machine. 
So I grabbed another machine that I was having an issue with that the blade was not cutting through the paper. So I got that one out and it wasn't cutting. So then I got one out that is now even changed in color. It is so old. It was, it's one of the very first ones that I probably got when they came out with them. I'm sure it was. Um, Cause I always like to have a backup. And I was, I said, okay, that's it. I'm gonna have to throw these away. I did not have time because this was on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, Tuesday was, and they left yesterday. So I did not have time to be messing around with getting a machine from my other, my daughter-in-law or have her go get her machine. I'd given her one um, and I had to have it because I had things I had to finish doing. So I had to buy a new machine, guys. So I've got a brand new machine, which I wasn't really happy about, but it was on sale. Uh, it's that time of year that if you need something like that, that's, that's the time to do it. And I've gotten a lot of years and a lot of mileage out of it. So um, I'm okay, I'm over it. At least it's working. It wasn't working uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. The next day I was trying to work on something and it wasn't, it was, wasn't cutting through the paper. And I can't remember what all that. I'd send it through again and again. And I'm just freaking out thinking, I, I don't have the receipt or anything on it because she went and picked it up for me. And I don't know if she gave me the receipt from it. Um, wasn't a major issue because it, it would have been a, a record of it on my, my card anyway. But I didn't want, I hate running errands in the winter. I hate it. But anyway, uh, I, it was at the setting for the, the, the depth or the, the power of the needle was set wrong. And I don't know how that happened. It was set at a lightweight paper for some reason. Okay, now here is the little boxer guy and it's a personalized, this is a, a I think it's a wee, it is, there's the W on there. Um, this is the little boy whose birthday it is. And uh, his head is put on the body and then all I did was do a little bit of light glittering on his outfit. That was it. Didn't need a whole lot. And the picture is perfect of the little boy. And now if I put it this way, his feet stick out. I don't want it to. So I'm going to put it at a slant, which doesn't make a bit of difference. And uh, got a little bit of strings on his face there. And I think that I'm going to have to maybe um, hot glue my glitter paper down on the lids. But there he is. And I've got four of these to do. Um, I will not videotape the whole thing. I didn't connect the sides here. I remember I made them once and then I did all of this connecting with string and and much more work to put together and the the looks of them when they're done they're just as cute this is just as cute as if it didn't have anything on it so i'm good with it but anyway there we have him and he is standing in the ring he's a winner i do believe but anyway that's it for now and thank you for watching uh i'm on a roll now i have another one i will be doing tomorrow but i will be uploading two tonight so we're good anyway have a great weekend and thanks for watching now, let me see if I can find it on my watch. Oh, next time, too, maybe I'll have some stories. I can't think of anything. But thanks for watching. Bye-bye.